Sure. Well, we're excited to begin play uh, on Friday night against Liberty. Looking forward to the first game. We've been at it for quite a while because of our opportunity to take the trip to Switzerland and Italy over the summer. So we've really um, gone for, for a long while. And I hope that we're ready and um, hope that we have a good atmosphere at the Robin Center uh, to kick off our 100th, 100th year of basketball. Coach Mooney, uh, football coaches sometimes look at uh, schedules and segments, and I presume basketball coaches do too. Do you look at these first three games? You got Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, as sort of a set. And, and what would you like to get out of that set? Yeah, uh, a, a little bit, I would say, John. Um, I, I really, I, it's hard to look beyond the first one, even though I, I know what you're saying when you see those. But I, I do hope that we can, you know, to have the opportunity to play three straight games at home uh, is, is great because it gives us a chance to hopefully. Uh, come out and play more comfortably than if we had to start with two out of three on the road or, or in a tournament of some sort where we're at home. So hopefully we can come out and play in front of our home crowd comfortably, kind of a stat, try to begin to establish the kind of team that we're going to be this year. Uh, and that's just always not, n not necessarily easier be because it depends on your opponent, uh, but that always seems more doable uh, in your home, on your home court. I feel like because of the Europe trip that this team is maybe antsier to get going and get playing because they've been together for so long? Probably. Uh, you know, we, 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 you, we had 10 days of practice before the European trip. There, there's a new rule that we could work with our guys in the summer this year. So we've been together all summer, went to Europe, came back, and started school right away. So I, I think so. I think the guys are, are ready to play. I, I feel like we're you know, as prepared as we could be. Um, and are just kind of ready to go out and start playing games. I think they look forward to this, you know, three games in the first week, uh, you know, with a lot of anticipation because you, you practices as, as competitive as they are and as uh, fun as it can be sometimes, it's still, it, it can be a little bit, you know, you just want, you just want to play games. Coach, as we talked about at Media Day, John wrote about it today in the paper, being more up-tempo, is that purely because of personnel, or is this something you've thought about the last couple of years and kind of a change in college basketball that more teams are running? Well, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I didn't happen to see the article, John. I apologize. Uh, but, you know, we've told our guys that we're, we're really, it, it's more of a strategy for us. I think that Every time a new coach gets a job, you know, you could almost write the script that we're going to play more up-tempo. Um, you know, and that sometimes happens, sometimes doesn't. So we're, we're, and, and so it's also kind of more exciting brand of basketball and all. And those things are all great, but we look at it as at a strategy. Uh, our, our front court players can all run really well. Cedric's a great player in the open court. We have some really good shooters and good decision makers. So we just think it fits the way – that our personnel is, uh, and then if it's if that's more exciting and more fun, then that's that's kind of gravy. But really, we're looking at it kind of the, the personnel that we have and the guys that we have playing. We think that having more possessions and and playing faster gives us more opportunities to make basketball decisions, and we hope that's a strength of the team. You're Princeton offense type guy. Is that going right. against your roots a little bit? Well, uh, no, you know. Uh, um, you know, my understanding of the Princeton offense has nothing to do with how, how quickly you shoot the ball. Uh, it has more to do with, you know, sharing the ball, spreading the floor, and having skillful players. So I, I don't think it really is, is any kind of different except hopefully we'll have the opportunity to shoot the ball a little bit more quickly. Uh, hopefully it goes in a fair amount, and, and, uh, and, and it'll look good. Was, this, was that a conscious decision when you recruited these guys, or is it just kind of the – hand that you've wound up with, because recruiting can be such a crapshoot sometimes. Anyway. Right, right. Well, that's a great question. I think like Alonzo, um, you know, a guy who's like Alonzo would be Deion Taylor. You know, these guys are 6'7", six, 6'9". Six, they can really run. They're very, very fluid. They're super athletic. Uh, Derek Williams and, and, um, and Terry Allen, you know, kind of similar. But you know, one of the things they can do is run. They can, they can move. They're fluid. And then all of our kind of other guys, you know, Greg played a little point guard in high school. Wayne played a little point guard in high school. Uh, so our perimeter guys have all been able to handle the ball and make decisions. So, 
you know, it would be hard to say, yeah, we went out and found those guys exactly. But I think when we were able to attract them, which is great, uh, I think this kind of fits how fits their strengths. Coach, uh, was there a temptation to find a way to get <laughs> Kendall Anthony in the starting lineup? And uh, part B is, uh, well, we'd be seeing a lot of three guard, right. three guard setups because of his talent. Yeah, uh, definitely. I, I really believe Kendall's one of the best guards in the conference, and you know the the numbers that he had last year and the way that he scored uh, for a freshman um, is just off the charts. And so, what I've really tried to convey to Kendall is, I, I don't want him to be a, a, a just be a spark off the bench. I want him to be a great player, and I think that's what he's going to end up being. Uh, so, yeah, I think it would be just as easy to start him, and he'd be very good. I just worry that we would potentially be so small to begin the game uh, that that might be just pushing it a little bit. And I think we will see a lot of three-guard offense. I think those guys can all score. And I think, you know, with, with Wayne Sparrow in there, that combination of three of three out of those four guys playing on the court at the same time, I think we'll see that a lot. Are you the type of coach that regardless of what it is, first or last, do you make mention or use preseason rankings at all in leading up to your first game? Not really. Uh, we haven't talked about it uh, once. Um, you know, I, I, I just really I, I don't even care. I, I think there was a time when uh, when that mattered maybe a little bit more to us as we were kind of trying to get our footing. I remember talking to one of the writers of the, of the preseason publications about maybe hopefully ranking us a little bit higher. Just as we could get some, you know, just some um, kind of validation of, of the progress we were making. At this point, I, I really couldn't, I really couldn't care less. And I also think that in our league, I think the team, the team that the last team in our conference tournament will be the twelfth place team, I think has a chance to be in the top hundred of the RPI. I mean, I think that's how good the conference is. So, uh, and that team's, you know, going to have a, a name that everybody recognized and. You know, has had tournament success and great history because that, that's what the league is made up of. Coach, how do you feel like Greg Robbins might do in his uh, sort of new role, more inside than outside? Yeah, I, I think Greg will do great. He, he's had a, he, I think he had a, a really good um, end of the season last year. He's had a great spring, summer, fall, uh, and he's he's really playing well. I think he will have the opportunity to play on the perimeter. Um, but I think he'll kind of be like an undersized guy in his positions. But his knowledge of the game, his toughness, um, his competitiveness, I think they're all going to really show up in a big way for our team. And, and it's something that I think this team really values and really needs. Coach, why would a team that wants to play a lot of three-guard sets not want to start that way? Why do you want to start bigger? Good question. I should have asked myself that a while ago. Uh, well. I just think it's different at the beginning of a game to start a game. I think, for example, I think Greg really brings us calmness and composure and a sense of making sure we're, we're, we're kind of uh, doing things the right way and, and running our game plan. And so, and I think Kendall kind of brings us this, you know, unique set of speed and scoring. Uh, and I, I think the Greg's that skill set that Greg brings is more valuable at the beginning of the game. Uh, and I think the skill set that Kendall brings in, in comparison is a little bit more valuable coming off the bench. Uh, you know, it obviously could change, and I'm, I'm sure I have a 50% chance of being wrong. So, But I, I really think that what, what Greg, Cedric, Darian, kind of a more experienced, not quite as explosive as a Kendall uh, lineup to start a game uh, is just a little bit more comfortable for, for the team. So those three guys and Derek, who's the fifth starter? Alonzo. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just talk about how much confidence you have in him being able to start. Well, I mean, Alonzo is extremely talented. Uh, it's really it's asking a lot for any freshman to start, even a redshirt freshman. Uh, but I, I really believe that um, with the four leading scorers on the team back, with Greg, who's now a senior who's played in you know tons of games, his. He can have an impact on the game without having huge statistics. If he can, if he can be a defensive presence, if he can help us run our offense smoothly, if he can get us some baskets because of his athleticism and knack for scoring, 
then that's all really, really great. But it's not like, you know, when we were when we were all freshmen years ago where those guys, you know, they had to score, they had to break the press, they had to kind of do everything. He can kind of be a guy who really complements the other starters. Anything else? Coach, are there any plans to redshirt any of your players this year? There are no plans to do that. So far your health is good in personnel. Yes. Okay.